All right, click the links to join the channel here, become a valued member over on Subscribestar. Thanks to the recent members over there. So why Megan's titular doll is already being called a queer icon. It's also called a horror film for the TikTok generation. What a compliment. So this touches on the found family, which is this commie concept, a part of the Frankfurt School, Bolshevik tool to destroy families and destroy nations. And this little sociopathic, blonde hair, blue eyed symbol of technology gone mad is the heart of it all. I guess before Elon, they would have blamed Jeff Bezos. He would have been the symbol of the ultimate evil for them. Uh, and now they have, uh, they have uh, Musk with uh, Tesla and the AI. And the funny thing about AI is there's this scientific theory about it, like, if it, they're talking about orders of magnitude to understand how intelligence works or how it like flops and computational power and stuff. And when they think like what the future AI holds, they have to draw, you have to draw this chart where it's like uh, orders of magnitudes dealing with, you know, the very large numbers, like the inter distances between you and I, wherever on earth you are, are, you know, insignificant compared to uh, distances throughout the galaxy and then throughout between galaxies and stuff. You try to compare those. And I started looking at like the growth of AI and what, what will happen, like if it ever catches fires, it's like it would be this very, very quickly ascension to just being so far beyond humanity that you wouldn't even be able to comprehend it, which would be interesting because it would be like God created man, if you believe in that theory, and then man created their own like god is that the cycle of the universe i don't know it's kind of interesting though anyway so someone said that this movie wasn't woke and then i looked at the blonde haired blue eyed doll and i said i bet it is because <laughs> you know not not the first trip to the rodeo I always look at light hair light eyes and then who's the pro or the antagonist and then you simply la match that light hair light eyes to the antagonist you draw that correlation causation you put a bunch of dots on a, a chart you go oh so in the past 10 years those dots all form a perfectly straight line oh that's interesting yeah so this setup is actually found family where the little girl has lost her family and she has to go live with her aunt then this doll is also brought into the situation and they said that that resonates for a lot of people in the blt community the idea of the found family that caught my attention because it touches on the greater societal issue of how these movements all work together to destroy people, to destroy families, to destroy nations. Looks around at this present, uh, present uh, Sodom, straps on the, the uh, sunglasses, the dystopian nightmare glasses. It's like, yeah, it's exactly the same. Oh, oh. So they push this belief system, do as thou wilt, instead of saying, maybe your family and tribe is critically important maybe the media and blue-haired teachers pushing this are demon bullshies who are literally destroying society maybe you should ask why the fence is up before you tear it down destroying your family your tribe your chance for offspring turning kids into catamites i mean this is if you tried to explain this to somebody a few years ago it was a, surely surely you must this couldn't possibly people wouldn't allow this to go on it's like they allow it to go on because it's dangerous to be right when when the state is wrong and that's kind of where we are now it's the joke in the far extreme right-wing circles is a state enforced um uh, degeneracy um to to uh to like literally sterilize yourself because the media machine said it was cool is is a weird way to uh rage against the machine we're raging against the machine except we're actually raging for the machine because we're all on board the same narrative as cnn msc bank of america facebook and coca-cola and all the all the social media companies and all the payment processors it's like well that's the ways to fund and disseminate information if if the payment processors the financial institutions and social media it's like well you have if you have that locked up you have the country you have complete control of the country if you can't fundraise and disseminate a message what I just got on a street corner? Yeah, I don't, I don't think you're arguing in good faith. So the uh, the global media told me that my true self is a zur other kin trans furry, and I need to abandon my family and make connections with this newfound family, who's also a collection of rootless, depressed, cut off people. And there's a theory that all this started about 1963 with the rise of uh, I Dream of Jeannie and. Um, the other one bewitched because those they said that the, the shows introduced the idea of witchcraft which don't get me wrong everyone it's like it's not that the witchcraft is serious the it, it's not it's just that the idea is to just slowly subvert and corrupt the patriarchy to take the center of strength and to start portraying um the pater as the as more of a a foolish bumpkin 
uh, creature instead of the head of the family. And they say about before the early 60s and after the early 60s, once TVs had reached sat uh, saturation, they had gone from a leave it to beaver type of structure where the, it, you have a, a strong family, which makes a strong neighborhood, strong tribe with a patriarchy to these silly, foolish men leading the family. And it's like it only took... You know, it took 60 years to slowly subvert and corrupt the nation. And, and you know, it's like, that's not hyperbole because you look around and you, um, you you see it. Anyway, so they're all victims of this globalist machine destroying society. Maybe the concept of family is orders of magnitude more important than doing what the media has brainwashed you into doing. Maybe you're a victim of propaganda and all this is a globalist op designed to destroy families. Doesn't that seem more likely? Do you really think the publishers of these magazines, CNN, MSNBC, Twitter, Facebook, do you really think these globalist demons have your best interests in mind? Watching the subversion and corruption of the left wing over the decades has been fascinating. The right also, don't get me wrong, but the left thinks that they are this 1980s punk rock, except they all have nose piercings, tattoos, and blue hair. And if you probably played them music from the 80s, um, a free expression, right? Free speech. You guys are totally on board with that. And you look around, the, the kids now are like, oh, we're not actually for free speech anymore. Oh, what happened? We got subverted and corrupted. <laughs> anyway, they all have to complete this hair and makeup performance to signal to their comrades that they're part of the in-group found family. And if, if you listen to like rock music today or punk music today, and then you, you, hear, you hear these people give interviews like, oh, God, this is pathetic. Plays uh, plays One in a Million by GNR from the 80s for them. It's like, whether or not you, you agree with that type of music, it's like, but you support free expression, right? Ah, not so much. So this is all the result of generational media brainwashing. Leaving your family be behind because the government, schools, and media companies told you to reject your own family, your own bloodlines. I've seen this in comics for the past, you know, 10 years. It's been insane. This is so evil that it's difficult to even discuss this level of Sodom. It's only possible via 60 years of propaganda if you showed your grandparents this modern media craft in America, they'd ask you how you allowed yourself to get conquered. Well, the best way to conquer is so slowly that they don't even know what's happening. Your great-grandparents would have said rock and roll was the devil's music. Yeah, they were more right than wrong. Your grandparents said that the same thing about TV. And, you know, after about 1960, they were right also. Um, we say it now about social media, and, and we're, we're right. And the kids today are going to grow up and look back at, at Twitter and TikTok and be like, why didn't our parents give us any structure? Why didn't it's like why weren't there systems in place to to protect the nation? Oh, that's nationalism. It's literally Hugo Boss. Aren't you glad you cut your penis off? Like, no, not not so much. That's kind of a kind of a one way journey. Can't really can't really undo that one. Why didn't somebody give me some structure? It's like, well, it's you slowly boil a frog until you get to the point where we are now. You have armed Antifa defending drag drag story hour. And you look at people who are protesting against it, and it's like, it's not really their dog in the fight because it's not their kids. And it's also a nation that doesn't want to be, be saved. And it's, you know, the dangerous to be right when the state is wrong. It's like the state protect, is protecting the trans drag queen. It's like, so what really are you protesting against? It's like, at this point, the country is so far gone, you have to go, oh, we need to just form a country within a country. Um, like, if you wanted to go to war or uh, uh, seek a constitutionally protected redress of grievance, that would be the way to do it, is to just literally go, you know what, we just need to have a constitutional uh, change to uh, to allow a, a sub-country. Because it's, like, clearly you can't continue down the, this pathway of this, this Sodom and Gomorrah. Um, anyway, uh, Yuri Bezmanov was right. Yeah, absolutely fucking subversive. I warned you. I warned you about the current thing. Yes, he did. Anyway, click the links to join the channel. See you guys on the next episode.